hey beauties, as a small business owner, are there things that just kind of really get up under your skin as a business owner? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you my top 10 small business pet peeves. You want to know what they are? Keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Taj with Taj Beauty Emporium, and let's just jump up on in this thing. So in this video, I am going to give you my 10 um, small business pet peeves. So let's just jump on right on in. Pet peeve number one is when someone inbox me a picture um, from another boutique, right? From another boutique, and they ask me, do you have this? That gets under my skin like don't send me a picture of another boutique and ask me do i have it because apparently the boutique that you took the picture from they have it or if it, or maybe let's just jump on go out there and say well maybe it is sold out with the other boutique and so you're asking if i carry or if i have it i still have a problem with it Reason being is because I pay for a put together website so that you can go on there and shop. It is even sectioned off to where you can look for just plus size or just regular size or plus size tops or regular size bottoms. Um, you can go in there and, and see for yourself. But I feel like it's disrespectful and I feel like it's kind of shady. I don't know. I just don't like it. So that that's one of my pet peeves. I don't like when customers or potential customers um, send me a photo. Actually, not even customers because I've found that it's not custom, my customers that do it. But they'll send me a photo from another boutique and ask me, do I have this? That's a no for me. Um, pet peeve number two. When a sale is over. Okay. When a sale is over, they go on so let's say, okay, let me back up. If you run, I run a sale and they may add something to their car, but not check out. When the sale is over, could be at midnight, could be a couple of days from the time that they add their stuff to car. And when the sale is over, they go back in and they want to purchase it, but they can no longer use the coupon code that was given for the sale. And so what do they do? They send me a chat on my website or they'll hop into my DMs or whatever and ask me, could they still use the coupon code? Um, did you order during the sale? No, I added it to my, it was in my cart. Did you check out? Doing the sale. I mean, just because you added something in your car at the time of a sale does not mean you're going to get the sale. Like, you have to check out. I don't like when people wait till after the sale and then want to still use the coupon code or still want to want me to honor the sale after the fact. It's very few times, very few times that I have ran a sale and say, okay, sale starts in the morning is at midnight normally if i run a sale it's going to be for a couple of days so no i don't honor coupon codes after the sale is over with okay let's go to pet peeve number three do you can i pay you in cash app do you have cash do you take cash app It's a no for me. I'm not even going to go all into it because I already have a video out um, of why I do not use Cash App for my business. If you're interested in that, you can, you know, go ahead. I'll try to, if I remember to link the video down below in the description box and you'll be sure to watch that. It's not hard to find because it's probably going to, I'm, I, it's probably going to be the video right above this one, depending on the order that I uploaded. But I just recently did a video talking about why I do not use cash out for my business. So with that being said, I do not like what customers try to, or potential customers ask me, do I uh, accept cash app to purchase anything um, from my boutique? So that's my third pet peeve. 
Pet peeve number four. When friends or followers, um, whenever you post, like whenever you post something on, I'm going to say Facebook because this is where I find it the absolute most. When I post something on Facebook that is um, pretty much BS, you know, it could be just a share, something maybe funny or um, whatever, just something that don't have nothing to do with nothing or whatever the case may be, just a miscellaneous post, right? And I'll get so I'll get comments shares, likes, I'll get all these notifications that so-and-so shared this to their page, so-and-so shared your post to this page or whatever, or to their page. But when you post a business post, it's like crickets. It's almost like you 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 second-guessing or wondering if you're in Facebook jail, if you done got shadow banned on IG, like... So, I ain't gonna lie, I done got petty to where when I post like little crazy stuff or missing it, I'll just hit, I'll do it to where I you can't share it. Cause I, I don't know, I just get petty sometimes like that. Like if you ain't gonna share all my, other, like if you gonna, if you gonna act like that with my business post when I post any regular stuff, keep that same energy. That's how I feel. Like, why is it? Why is it? Can somebody drop down in the comments and, and and let me know? Like, why is it? Or do have you ever experienced that? Like, you post something on your page, on your Facebook, on your Instagram, on whatever, on your TikTok, whatever. You post something that don't have nothing to do with your business, and you get all of these engagements and um, likes and comments and shares. But the minute you post something pertaining to your business. It's almost like kryptonite. Like they're scared to even touch the post. Like I, I don't get that. I don't understand that. So that's that is like my number. That's my fourth pet peeve that just drives me crazy as a small business, um, small business owner. Um. Okay. My next pet peeve. I do not. I absolutely. This should have been like my number one because this is the most annoying absolute i mean it just really bothers me oh till i ain't, i'm not even gonna bs like it bothers me so much that sometimes i'll act like i don't even see it i do not like when i post something on my business page um if i post um you know like inventory if i post a picture of me wearing something that i'm selling whatever and people drop down in my comments and they comment how much or they'll comment do you have this in such and such color or what color does this come in Bro, you just don't understand. <laughs> or maybe you do. That to me, it is it, that's like my number one. That that just irks the hell out of me. Like, don't come in the comment section and say how much. Like, I don't if you look on my page, if you go down my timeline, you will see that I don't operate my business like that. I'll do one or two things in majority of my posts. Either I'll, cause I have the, I have the, um, you know, the, the Facebook shop. So I can use the, the feature on Instagram for when you tap the photo, you know, you can see the cost of the, whatever the product is, item is. And then it'll carry you over to the website to that particular page to purchase it if you're interested in purchasing. So either I'll post it there, I'll have it linked like that so that you can just completely click, just, just click on the um photo, see the price, or go straight to the website, to that particular page where that item is and purchase it or see the price or see what I'm offering in that particular item. What color, what sizes, you can see that. Or if I don't do that, 
I'll post, if I'm posting on my Facebook, I will literally take the extra step to get the link to that particular item. And in my somewhere in my caption, I'm going to add the link so that when you see it on Facebook, you can actually click on the link and whatever item that I am promoting, it will take you directly to that item. There is no need for you to ask me how much, what color, what size it come in. Now, let me say this. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with if you get in the comments and you say something like, oh, this is cute, whatever, whatever. And then there's a kind of kind of like a dialogue going, a conversation going, you know, I know it's not too much, I mean, too much you can do as far as conversation wise in the comments, but like if there's a dialogue and then we kind of go back and forth, but just, I just feel like it just looked tacky when I post something and they say how much, or if I post something to my story and they reply to the story, how much? So it comes up into my inbox and I click on my inbox to see, oh, somebody interacted with my, with my story and how much. If you've been to my website before, you'll see that I do have a lot of inventory. Um, and if it's not something that I literally just, just dropped, nine times out of ten, I'm not going to be able to think off the top of my head what sizes I have left in that particular item, how much that item is. Like, I just not, I'm not going to remember that. So the same steps that I'm going to take to answer your question is the same steps you can take to answer your own question. Because all I'm going to do is go to the website or either go to, on the front end or the back end, look at the, pull up the um the item, look at the price, look at how many, I mean, uh what sizes that I have left in it, and then respond. By the time I do all of that, you could have been and just pulled it up yourself. Like, I, I just don't, I don't understand. Like, if, if you, if I'm all, if I have a website, if, if I'm paying for a website to present my products, then why not just go on the website and look for that, that? I mean, that's what I'm trying to get you to do anyway. Whether you buy it or you don't, go to the website. Because what happens, well, I'm not even going to go there because that's going to be one of my pet peeves as well. But that is my pet peeve. I do not like when people drop down in the comments and say how much, what color. Do you have this in? Does it come in? I don't like that. I could be wrong, but that's just, just me. That's my pet peeve. I don't I don't like that. I feel like it's tacky. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way I feel like it, it makes me feel as if I'm doing all of this on the uh, on the back end as far as making sure that my website is presentable, that you can find things, it's easy to maneuver through, to navigate through, and for you to get on my Facebook post and be like you know, asking the same questions that you can pretty much get to if you just go to the website. So that's one of my pet peeves. Here's another pet peeve, number six. I don't know why people think, I, um, get it kind of misconstrued. I don't understand, but I've had where someone will get into my inbox and they'll say, I'm just going to say, just use, throw something out there for an example. Um, Hey, I need a black dress mermaid style. I'm going to an all black party. I need it to be off the shoulders. Uh, can you, can you find me something like that? My response is going to be, if I don't have anything like that in inventory, my response is going to be, I don't, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I don't offer, I don't have anything, you know, in that range that you're looking for. I'm not a personal stylist that I go out and shop for people. I purchase the to carry as inventory in my boutique. So you go to the website, you see what I have. If you're feeling and you dig in what I got, you purchase it. If not, then you just, you know, go on your merry little way. But like, I don't go shop for a particular style item or whatever for, that's just not what I do. And I don't really know no other 
professional way to respond other than unfortunately I don't have anything that's that comes close to what you're describing. Maybe you should try such and such boutique or maybe you should try, you know, kind of doing a Google search to see what you can come up with. Other than that, I don't really know no other professional way to kind of like let them know that since I ain't no, I'm not, that ain't what I do. <laughs> okay. So that's a pet peeve of mine. Here's another pet peeve. And I fell for it once before when I, like around the time where I first started. And I said I, that it didn't take me but one time to figure that joke out. Um, beware of when potential customers, let me say potential customers, or customers, whatever. But be, pet peeve, when they will tell you. Oh, I wish you had this, or, oh, I like this, or you should start carrying this. And then you purchase that, and they don't buy it. And now you're stuck with some whatever it was, and you're trying to figure out how you're going to get rid of it. I fell for that one time. I remember when this was about four years ago. And it was the, um, like the cardigans that had like the, um, the razor cuts in the back, but it was like the faux leather. And someone was like, Oh, I love these styles. And this, it was real popular. You know, a lot of boutiques had it. That was another no, no for me because I try my best to kind of like stand out by not going with what I see so many others do. But anyway, it was something that was going on. And they had started carrying them in denim. They started carrying them um, with different prints. They started having the faux leather um, style ones when fall came in. And so this particular um, cardigan was uh, the faux leather. It was in black. It came in black and burgundy. And it had the razor cuts down the back. And it was like a long-tailed um, cardigan. And someone had sent me a, a photo and was like, you should carry these, you know. And I did know that they were popular, but it was not something that I had felt the need to purchase for my boutique. But I ended up, was like, okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and see if I can find some. Because I didn't know, I, they just sent me a photo like, oh, these are so cute, I love these. But it wasn't like a, a another boutique's photo. But anyway... So I go searching for it and I find them. I find them and I purchase them. Okay. A uh, good thing I only had purchased one, you know, pack, one bulk of it. I didn't like go crazy and try to do two, three, and four. Um, I only did uh, purchase one pack, which came six. Anyway, that person, um, when I when I got them in and I let them know that that I had them in, they ordered it. They did order it, right? But when they got it, they were like, "This it was it it ain't what I thought it would be." And I was like, "Was it not? What, what do you mean? Like, is it the?" And it wasn't that they did. It wasn't that it wasn't what they were looking for. When they got it, they realized that no matter like her thing was no matter what she put it put it together with, it just it just wasn't working for her. Like it just wasn't what she thought. And, or it didn't go the way she thought it was going to go with whatever. And so she wanted to exchange it. She wanted to return it. Now, I purchased this because she asked, basically. Not only am I stuck with five more, but now the one that you did purchase, you are sending that back. I remember a while before I started selling regular size clothes, I was selling plus size clothes only. I started out as a plus size boutique. And so many people were asking me to carry regular size clothing because they just liked the style and the look of my boutique. When I first started dipping, at first I kind of was like, mm, no, I just kind of want to uh, get my feet wet with my plus size. I want to make sure I get that down 
and get a good, you know, flow with it before I start trying to dip and dabble in other things. When I started carrying regular size clothes, um, it kind of was a little slow at first. And I think it was because people were so used to me just selling plus size that they, a lot of people just did not have any idea that I sold regular size clothes. But the more I started promoting it, the more the, you know, exposure and the sales started coming in. But the same ones who were saying, I wish you sold regular size clothes, never, till this day, never purchased from me. And it's quite a few of them, never purchased from me, right? Now, today, I actually get a lot of regular size orders. But still, the ones that really was like, you should sell regular size clothes, I love this, I will buy this, I will buy that, they didn't, they don't, they haven't. So I do not like when people try to um, tell you what you should have, what you shouldn't have, or if you got, if you had this, I would buy it. Oh, these are cute. I wish I could find these. I wish you carried these, and then you go run out and get it, and then they don't buy it, and now you stuck with some inventory that you can't get rid of because it really wasn't what you was desired to buy for your boutique anyway. Okay, so I ain't gonna do too much rambling on that one, but that was one of. Um, you know, my pet peeves. Another pet peeve of mine is, and this go this goes with regular just people that you don't know and family members. And it's really big with family members. And because I said that, you probably know what I'm about to say. But I do not like when people automatically, the first thing they do is ask you, do you have a coupon code or can they get a discount? Small businesses, small business owners already from my experience and from what I've seen and what I know I personally do, a lot of small business, uh, most small businesses, they always incorporate when you order from them. A lot of times they give freebies, they give little trinkets, little um, treats and stuff like that. Like they try to personalize their, their orders. They try to, you know, send you a little something to say, thank you for shopping with me, you know, showing their appreciation. A lot of times they do that. You may get some um, boutiques that, or uh, yeah, businesses where they'll offer like a first time buys coupon code. You may go on the website and it'll pop up, um, you know, for, you know, if you sign up for this email, 15% off. Or uh, if you, your first purchase is, you know, 10% off, whatever. But if you don't see that, then apparently there's not a coupon code. You know what I'm saying? Like. Listen, I had a customer, and I'm going to say customer because they actually e eventually purchased from me, but I had someone to go on the website, on my website, something that was less than $20, was it, no, I'm sorry, was less than $25, they asked me if I had a coupon code for them. And I said $25 to kind of boost it up. This was something that was not $25. It was less than $25. It was less than $25. And they asked me for a coupon code. They, they literally got into my chat on my website and asked me, do I have a coupon code? I feel like it's just, it's just. It's, I feel like it's tacky. Like, I feel like it's poor taste to go on a small business website when the products are, when it's something that you're trying to purchase and it's like not even that much and you just ask for a coupon code or you ask for a discount or because you feel like you know the person, you just automatically, girl, let me get a discount. How much I can get this for you? What you going to sell it to me for? Like, wh why would you do that? I, I, I don't get that. I don't, I, I don't get it. But, you know, people do it. Um, here's, we at number nine. So, my number nine uh, pet peeve is wasting my time. At this stage in my business, time is money. And I don't mind 
talking to customers, potential customers in my comments. I don't mind interacting. I, as a matter of fact, I love to interact with, with, with my friends and followers, potential customers and existing customers. Don't get it twisted. But what I don't like is they get in my comments or they get in my inbox and they ask me a million questions. Wow, what color is it? Uh, does it stretch? Or how it fit? Well, what's the inseam measurements? And what's this? And what's that? And what you think? And um, I usually wear this, but I think if you think my hands are like they go through all of this and they don't purchase. You go through all of this, like I'm in, I'm in the inbox going back and forth, back and there's a whole dialogue. And then you don't even purchase it. That goes back to going to the website. Like, everybody who goes to your website is not going to purchase. Okay? I don't, I used to kind of feel a certain type of way, like, why, why did I purchase it? Like, I'm getting these people going through my website, but now I purchase it. But I had to think realistically. Sometimes people just go to your website to kind of check you out. It could be the first time that they've been there. It could be the second time. They might just look. They may not see something that they that catch their eye right then and there. You know what I'm saying? But there's times people people go to your website for different reasons. And it's not always to make to, to just purchase right off the bat. Especially if they've never purchased from you before. But what I am saying is that let's say I post a pair of jeans. And it catches your eye on social media or through whatever. And if you're not sure or you know 100% like, oh, I'm, I'm, let me go, let me go cop these. What you do is you go to the website. You look at it. I model everything that I carry. I no longer use vendor photos. Um, I twice, well, once I did a call myself trying out flat lays, but I still, in. I, not only did I take flat lays, but I also took photos in the product. I just wanted to try out flat lays, but I still went in and took photos with the product and posted them on my website because I feel like customers want to see you in it, not no manufacturer photo or no flat lay or whatever. They want to see the, they, they can see a better, um, fit of the product if it's on you and I'm speaking to about clothing boutiques but also if you sell hair if you sell lip gloss whatever it just comes across a little bit better in eye catching when they can see you in the stuff or a model or a lot not a manufacturer photo that it's you know it just is I'm gonna do I have a whole nother video going about that but anyway you can go on the website, you can look at it, you can see the fit of it, you can read the description because I try to be very detailed with my descriptions. You can see how much it is, you can see the sizes that I offer, I'll let you know if it stretches, if it doesn't stretch, I'll let you know how the, you know, how the fit, does it run big, does it run small, is it true to size, all of these, these different things you can see from the website. Therefore, if you are interested in something but you're not ready to purchase, I will never know. Why contact me, ask me a million and one questions, and then you and then you still don't do anything. That's and and listen, a lot of times it's it'll start off with how much is this? And if I don't know right off back, then I go to my website, I look to see how much it is, what sizes I have left in it, I come back to my inbox to give you that information. Then you come back with some more questions and we're, we have a whole dialogue going. I send you the link at this point because I'm like, okay, there's a whole dot. Like if you go purchase at this point, if you're going to purchase, you're going to purchase. I send you the link and everything and you don't purchase. Why, why waste a person's time? Why not just go to the website? You could have went to the website, looked at it, seen all of these different things about it. Now, mind you, if you go to the website and you see something on there and with the description that I have and the pictures that I have and you still feel like there is a need to ask me something, there's a chat on my website that you can ask me whatever you want to ask. You can chat with me, a live chat. 
But to get on social media and get in my DM and you really not serious, you have a lot of times you ain't even go to the website. At least if you go to the website and you hit me up in the chat, then okay, you on the website. But you ain't even take the you ain't you ain't even go to the website. So you asking me all of this makes me now I'm to the point where if somebody asks me in the DM or they or they send it to my inbox and they ask me about a product, I automatically have it in my head that you're not gonna buy. You're not serious about about the product or whatever it is that you're sh trying to make me feel like you're interested in. Because if you were really serious, you would have went to the website. And then, like I said, you could chat with me from the website. But if you just slide in my inbox or you respond to a story that I posted, in my mind, with the experience that I've had, I just automatically feel like you're not serious. And I really don't put any effort into it. So, you know, that's, that's what that is. And my number 10 pet peeve is, um, and I kind of just touched on that. Um, ooh, my eyes water. Um, I kind of just touched on that was um, like asking a million questions. That's I feel like that's out of the norm. You know what I'm saying? Like if you go to Fashion Nova or you go to, uh, what's the other one? Shein. You pretty much, you read their description. You see the model. They show you different angles of the product with the model in it, turning to the side, to the front, whatever the case may be. And you go with that and you purchase. For some reason, when they see a small business, they have all of these questions like, well, what's the end scene on it? And what's the, you know, the, the, like just these, all of these questions as if like, girl, like what? Like, what is you doing, baby? Like, do, are you really interested in this? Because, like, I know a lot of people don't buy online. They're scared to buy online because a lot of times people like to, especially when it comes down to plus size, they want to be able to try things on. They want to make sure that it actually fit them. Just because they wear a 2X doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to fit this 2X. And, you know, it's so much. Now, you may get a little bit more leeway when it comes down to regular size, small, medium, large. But then you still have some people with small, medium, large and extra large that still feel like, you know, just because that's a medium, it may not fit me the way, you know, they want to see it. So, people are a little bit more skeptical about ordering online. I get that. But baby, you got all them questions you don't need to be buying online. Like if you got to go through, like if, if the, the, the basic questions of how does it fit, does it stretch, what material is it, um, does it fit true to size, um, you know, is there any elastic or whatever. Those are the normal questions that people will want to know. But when you get into all these other bizarre questions and then they start asking, like, can you send me a picture? But girl, the picture is on the website. Like, I'm not finna, no. The, the picture is on the website. I literally take my time, get dressed, coordinate outfits, accessories, take photos that takes forever in a day sometime. If you're a boutique owner, you know what I'm talking about. It just more, it go, it's more than just snap snap and taking pictures um i do all of that for you to get on my get get on my social media and play with me like don't 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 do that don't try to make don't try to bring me up out of this uh professionally don't do that but anyway those are my top 10 my or my 10 uh pet peeves as a small business owner good this this video was um, a little bit, it, I was trying to be, I started out trying to be a little, you know, professional, but baby, I just had to get on in with it. But um, thank y'all for coming back to my channel and watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload. If you could relate to any of these pet peeves that I've had, drop down in the comment section and start a conversation with me. Let's talk about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.